was just <clears throat> I was just thinking something. Uh, you know, can't we be part of the thought process and the decision instead of just being part of the vote? Um, you know, one thing that I puzzles me and doesn't puzzle me is that we're all divided. Well, all every country and and state and and especially the states, right? Like every state. Um, is is basically all divided by certain opinions and presidential and and people being elected but if we were all together as one people we could make decisions and say questions that came up such as you know um do we need world borders or do we have do we need to put a law in for the new you know robots that are coming in with that are intelligent or um, you know, and 90% of the population says, yeah, we need to do that, then that would be the obvious. There would be no fights or arguments or situations. And if we, you know, all played a part and in each country did, you know, the, the right thing to help all individuals in every situation, you know, um, I think things would be a lot better. And the thing that blows me me away about the vaccine and stuff, you know, is that I don't know who it was, but I was listening to something the other day, and it was like, okay, uh, they've been trying to solve cancer or get a cure for cancer for a hundred or forty years or whatever it was. I think the guy said forty. I, I honestly forget who it is, and uh, and same with AIDS and all this other crap going on you know, for years and years and making major money on, um, making major money on raising money and, and there's still no cure for all these things. Uh, but all of a sudden, uh, the pandemic comes and they've got a cure within a year, but, but all these other things are just as bad as the pandemic, the AIDS, the cancer, all that, that's a pandemic, you know what I mean, that, you know, that needs to be looked at and solved, right? So, yeah, it's crazy. And that's why I say we all got to come together and make decisions like shut these cancer societies and all this stuff down and bring the cure. Come, come with the cure. There's no way they don't have a cure after 40 years if they can come up with the cure with the vaccine for the freaking mass worldwide virus in, in a year or two years or whatever they're saying. Obviously a year because they're pumping out the vaccines, which I think I think it's crazy. I don't think they have a if like I say, if they can't do it for all the other stuff, why all of a sudden can they do it with this? I don't think it's proper you know, you're looking at a long term effect in a lot of things, but you know, I'm no doctor. Um I'm gonna try not to say whether I'll take it or not and I'm not gonna tell you you do your research but also look at every look at the you know outside of the box with every other thing don't just look at the inside of the box with the virus look at all the other stuff they've tried to solve and issues they've had with trying to find cures with things so you know everything contradicts everything you got to figure it out for yourself but again i think that comes to us quitting all this hate and this racism and uh, white privilege and BLM and all this and all come together as one to actually create a good world. You know what I mean? But from what I hear, I guess it's all going to be run by robots with intelligence here soon. So I'm sure that's so much better. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm just uploading a video on my other channel, Chew D3. If you guys want to go check that out, subscribe, hit like. Um, I just put a, a video up on there with the uh, mass protest, uh, four people dead. Um, the one thing I want to say about that is one of the people that got shot, um, I think the rest overcome by health stuff, but from what they say but the one that got shot 
in the building in the house was that she actually served for the country, served for USA in the Navy or in the, um, I'm pretty sure it was the Navy, her and her husband. So that blows my mind, you know. I feel so, you know, I reach out to her family or, I, you know, I guess I don't reach out, but I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry for her, you know, for her passing, really, and for, for all this craziness that's gone on. Um, but again, it's about focusing on the big picture, what you need to do. If she wouldn't have been there, she would have been focused on what she, she needed to do, how to make the world better, you know, in her way, in a proper direction. You know, like... You start focusing on all the anger issues and uh, the presidential stuff and, and battling over, you know, who's president and the votes. And it's such a stupid, it's like a bunch of 15-year-olds, you know, when really we need to, you need to focus and bear down. You become the president. You become the friggin' a mayor of something. You make the difference, right? You know, no, let's go fight and protest and be a bunch of... 15 year olds and no offense to anybody but that's you know I'd probably maybe be out there too but at the same time it's like you gotta think like it's a stupid act when you could be making such a bigger difference you know and crazy how good people went out there to do that and and protest the right situation about standing up for your rights really in a way a lot of you know some people are there for that they they want us to operate this world in 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 a in a right way right that's why some of them are there and and the one i have a you know my thought and my feeling is that girl who served looked like an awesome chick you know uh you know and that's that's the one that gets shot. It's just messed up. I had a point behind that. You know, um, I guess my point was that she was a good person and she got stuck in that crap. You know, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, I reach out to everybody. Uh, just stay on your path and do your thing. Don't get yourself hurt or or killed or over things that really if you look down the road you could make such a bigger difference in doing something else and your word could be heard and you know if we all come together